Hello, I'm Mike, and this is the first in a series of videos that explain Qnetic's core technology and what is special about it. This first one today is about flywheel energy storage systems and the fundamentals of how they work. So, what is a flywheel energy storage system? Well, actually, it's a battery. You can charge it and discharge it just like the kind of battery that's in your mobile phone or your toy car. The difference is that instead of storing the energy as a kind of chemical reaction, flywheel energy storage system stores the energy as kinetic energy. So what does that mean and how does it work? First, we have a motor here. The motor is transforming electricity to rotational speed. This motor is connected to a rotor. The rotor is accumulating the speed and therefore accumulating kinetic energy. This rotor is supported by bearings and guided also to keep it centered by the bearings. The system is sealed in a container and to this container we attach a pump that is removing the air and create a vacuum inside because we don't want to lose the rotor energy through the friction with the air. The, the rotor is accumulating, it's going faster and faster until it reach the maximum speed we allow it to have. Then, how do we get the energy back out? But this component is dual function. Not only does it take electricity, as a motor converts it into rotation, but we take rotation and as a generator, it converts it back into electricity. So as we convert the kinetic energy back into electrical energy, the speed of the rotor will reduce as the flywheel system discharges. So we go from electricity in to electricity out but converted to kinetic energy in between. It's beautifully simple. So that's it. We'll see you in the next video for more juicy tidbits.